All right, let's add in some titles or some text. And really how this works is that the titles or text is linked to uh, videos or photos because the words will appear on top of uh, those types of media. So for example, I've got the picture here of the speed skater. Uh, and by selecting that particular picture, you can now see down along the bottom right hand corner, I've got that option that pops up there saying title. Uh, the same thing would apply actually if I selected a video clip. Slightly different, but again, down along the bottom right, you can see there that I have the option to now select the title menu. Let's go back to our picture because I would like to put a label on this picture. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to select title. And you can see here that it now opens up some more options along the bottom. Uh, opening, middle, closing. By default, it's set to none, but you can see now by selecting in opening, uh, this is kind of like an opening type of uh, title placement. Again, you can select the one that you would like to use. Uh, I've got here opening, this is middle, down along that uh, bottom there. Closing, very similar except slightly larger uh, size of text. Whatever I would like to use, I can just select that. If I'm happy with, say, the opening style, I can then select opening. And then on the preview screen, by selecting and tapping on the text, it now allows me to enter in an appropriate title. Again, I just type that in. Speed skating. Hit done, and there it is. Now, the particular type of uh, font and the style there, you can see how that when that title slides in, it slides in from the left. That is really determined based upon the theme that we chose way back at the start when we first started this project. We were asked to select if it was going to be uh, you know, uh, modern or the CNN I report or the news report type of theme. Um, based upon which theme I've chosen, that theme will impact the look of the particular titles that I'm now uh, trying to add into my project. So this sort of transition here and the introduction of that piece of text is linked to the style of modern. And I like modern, that's why I've chosen it. So that's the, uh, that's the type of text I'm looking at there. Now, again, by selecting title, I can then change that and say, let's see if I went as a middle type of placement on my video clip. You can see here that it now comes along just along the bottom there. So again, that is really uh, what's involved when it comes to adding in text. Now, Let's take a look at another cool feature that was added in to iMovie in this latest version. Again, it is surrounding text and it is surrounding, uh, again, how we use it, whether it's on top of a video or a photo. So here's my new uh, video clip here. I'm going to select that and I am going to select title. And instead of selecting these opening, middle, closing options here, I'm going to select none. I'm actually going to select down along the bottom right hand corner, there's that little box there with the T inside of it. Once I select that, it reveals nine new types of titles that are now animated titles. And you can see there that it's trying to give you a bit of a preview. It has modern, standard, prism, gravity. These things are standard, so it doesn't really matter what theme I choose at the beginning, these will always be the same. Uh, so if I like, say for example, the line title, I can select that and that will show up there. Now when I've chosen that I have the option along the bottom left uh, edge there of my screen whether or not I want to have it in the center or maybe I would like to have it towards the lower part of my screen. There it is, there's center and I'd like to have it actually in the lower part of my screen. Now again I can do the same thing by selecting it on the preview screen tapping on the text field there, it then opens up the option of adding in my text and my title. And then I can add in hit done and then select
smart board in the classroom and the nice thing about it again like I said it's an animated title so when I actually play this you can see that that title pops up and nicely fades out again and that is linked to these particular uh, these new nine different animated titles that you can add in on top of any picture or video clip in iMovie.